Alright, what's up y'all? Um, real quick video because it's the GS size of the What The um, Air Jordan 4. Got a mint in my mouth. I should really stop crunching on this before I start talking. But it is what it is. Alright, so the Air Jordan 4 Retro What The It's the GS. The style code is 408-452-146. SRP is only $140. So we do have a QR code right here, and I'm going to scan that and get to it. But the color is white, military, blue, fire red. So you know you have this blending of the different versions of the Air Jordan 4s on this one shoe. And um, the 4.5 UPC, just in case, 4.5Y UPC is 193-153-390-057. And there's a 16 at the end. Let's bust the top open real quick and see if we have any QC stamps in the top. There's no QC stamp in the top of the lid. I'm actually going to take this, pull the shoes out since they're really small, and do the same thing. It's nothing on the inside of the box either. So neither the box itself or the lid has the QC stamp. So I'm going to unroll these, pull them out, and get into a little bit of the discussion. So when you look at this, when you see the fire red and the cement and the military blue, I mean, it's just a, a bunch of the classic Jordans captured in this one shoe. Uh, real quick fact, I watched the movie uh, Unbanned, right? The documentary. It's not a movie. I apologize. The documentary Unbanned. And it talked about Lance Mountain and skaters after Vans decided to stop sponsoring people um, early on that the skaters started wearing the Air Jordan 1s and they would wear a different color shoe on each foot. I would have to say that this idea of what the comes from skate culture. Now, if somebody knows for a fact where the what the idea came from, you know, then leave a comment and let me know. But uh, let's do a close up on these. We don't have to stay on it very long. This one does not have like a hang tag or anything like that, but it does come with a set of black shoe strings. The inside of it, one insole is black, the left insole is black and red, the right insole is red and black. Uh, the heel tab, you see the cement and the military blue. And then the tongue, you have the different colors here. But you can't see it from this far away, so let's move it up and wrap this video up. We don't have to stay on this one very long, but I'm sure you want to see a good close-up picture of the shoe, so that's what I'll do. Give me one second. All right, so of course we have the mesh on the inside of this one is black on the left shoe. The mesh on the inside of this one on the right shoe is blue. So you got that military blue vibe. The funny thing about the Jordan 4, and I always make it a point to talk about this, is that the Jordan 4, outside of the bread, if you want to be honest about it, very rarely sells out anytime it comes when it whenever it drops it really doesn't sell out now as it is one of my favorite colorways that really isn't the point it's not like jordan brand is making a shoe specifically for me they're making a general release model that they want people to pick up but the shoe doesn't sell out immediately you don't have to run out and grab these. And it's obvious people didn't run out and grab them. There's no real resale value in it. And the shoe is sitting in the locations that it came out. So you can still get it at retail. But it's a great looking shoe, man. And I've always loved the Jordan 4. I'm not super crazy about the what the on this model, though. It seems a little bit lazy. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just being a little bit critical. But that's it. Let's wrap this up. What do you guys think about this shoe? It's okay. It's very basic. I think old heads can rock it, and that's a good thing because you can go across, you know, years. But that's it. I'm going to wrap this one up, and I'll see you guys on the next one.